So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some of the charts that appear in Appendix C of our Advanced Excel assignment. So I'm going to build two of the four charts. The first chart I'm going to build is Trip Expenses by Reason. So first we're going to create a pivot table. So I'm going to click Insert. Okay, and make sure you click on any cell in Q4 Trips and then Pivot Table. Okay, it selects that range that has our data. You go to a new worksheet. And uh, we need trip expenses by reason. So over here, we have to take reason. And we'll put it on the row label. And then over here, we have a column where we added up the airfare, meals, and hotels. So we take that one. So here's our data. And I'm just going to go ahead and put comma cell to that. So now, just select this data insert and the chart that we want is a bar chart so um, for bar chart we have this one okay so we want this chart clustered bar so take clustered bar and OK and there's our chart okay and um, we need to remove the legend here and down here in the axis, we're going to remove the axis. Um, we're going to change the layout so that there's... Um, okay, we're just going to add the title up here. Trip expenses by reason. And uh, since we deleted the x-axis here, we're going to add labels. Right click, add labels. And we don't need these uh, buttons here. We don't need to filter anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, hide all field buttons on chart. OK. And um, if you prefer, you can also delete all these um, vertical lines. So just press delete on your keyboard. So that's our first chart for Appendix C. Okay, and um, I'm going to rename this sheet so I know what, what's in there. So I'm going to say trip expenses by reason chart. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the second chart, which is a number of trips made to each region. So that's region. And so I'm going to go again and insert a pivot table. Okay, so this time I want region on the row label, region on the row label. And I just want to count the number of trips, so I can just go ahead and select trip ID. And then I'm going to change it, summarize by count. So now we count the number of trips per region. And same thing, I'm going to select my data, and then I'm going to go insert, column. And so now here's my chart. So I'm going to delete the legend. And um, up here in the title, number of trips by region. And I'm going to remove the um, y-axis. And I'm just going to add data labels here. And once again, I'm going to hide these buttons. And I'm going to select these lines here and I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard so it's just cleaner that way. So now I've created two charts. And I'm going to rename this. So now I'm going to show you how to create the um, trip dashboard. So for the trip dashboard I'm going to create a new sheet here. I'm going to call it dashboard. Now, a dashboard is just a place where you quickly assemble um, a lot of important figures or charts. So in this case, I'm going to uh, put a report title here. And I'm going to go to this chart. I'm going to copy it from here. So right click, copy. I'm going to paste it on this sheet. OK, 
Okay, just paste. So here's that first chart I did. And this is the other chart. Copy and paste it here. So now I've got two charts. Now it's nice to uh, put them, you know, align them with each other. So I'm going to align them here. And then I'm going to merge these fields. I'm going to merge. Whoops. Forgot to, to include all the cells, so I'm going to merge. Okay, and I'm going to try and line them up. Okay, I'm going to make this uh, size 20. And then I'm also going to change the background color. Now you can change the background color of an entire worksheet by clicking on this cell here, which is to the left of column A and above row 1. This is a special button that selects all the cells on your worksheet. And we'll just give it a, a soothing background color like Okay, per perhaps this shade of blue or this shade of blue. All right. Okay, and now I've got two of my charts, and I can continue. I can continue building the other two sh two charts. Travel expenses by department. So I go back to um, Q4 trips. So I'll build a third pivot table, and that's um, I need department. So I look for it in my list and expenses. That would be the total expenses. Okay, so here are my expenses. I select my data, insert, and this time I want a pie chart, and I'm going to use. Okay, more pie charts. What other pie charts are there? I'll just use this one then. Okay, click OK. Okay, and um, up here there's layouts that have labels and You can go through the different designs to see which one is closest to what you want. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one. Now, you can pull the uh, the numbers out. Okay, you can't see them because of the white background. Because I currently have a white background, so I got to change my background here. Format the chart area with a fill color with a gradient fill. Okay, that looks fine. And I'm going to change my font here to to uh, dark blue. Okay. And uh, I'm also going to add the department names as my labels. So f format data labels. OK, and over here I'm going to add the uh, category names. So I can just now remove these uh, buttons. and also the legend. Okay. Now I'm using Office 365, so my menu options might be different from those of you who are using Office uh, 2010. 
Th that's why I had to do all my formatting over here. Okay, and so that's that's my third chart. I'm going to rename it as expenses by department. And change that back to black. Okay. I'm going to copy this chart into my dashboard. And move it here. Okay, and so on. So there's another four chart you should put up here. So it's up to you how you want to style your charts. And um, as you can see, the, our technique is just to go to Q4 trips, build a pivot chart pivot table, and then copy that into the dashboard so they're all together in one sheet.